beautiful morning. Just got in late last night after going out to crop dust that field and and um, I had to do a couple of deliveries in the truck too. Anyway, got a pretty busy day on. I know I've got sheep to tend to and the horses to tend to. Uh, I had someone looking after one of the young apprentices up at the shop. Took care of them. Oh look, he didn't even put my tractor away. Anyway. He looked after them. I gave him 50 bucks a day just to take care of the animals. But, I'm just going to pop this tractor away. I wish he didn't leave it out. Oh, I might as well clear up the sheet while I'm here. I, um... What is that? Straight off the nose. Other side of the sheep pen. Off in the distance. Looks like a shed. What the heck's happened since I've been away? You might have to go check that out. Looks like I might have some neighbours. It could be good. Could also be bad. I've kind of liked the solitude. Let's see how we go. See who we got. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, I got an email while I was away. Um, about the truck. About the 48. So, I put it on a few forums here and there. And this dude from Utah ended up responding. He's pretty keen on it. Um, so we've had a couple of interactions going back and forth. Not too much. I'm waiting on him to come back to tell me what he wants and, you know, see how much he's willing to pay. Oh, I should go check their water. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get an email this morning. Well, today anyway. And um, that'll give me an idea of what he's willing to pay, see if he's serious or not. There's plenty of water in there. Let's see if it needs a top up though. Yeah, I need a bit of, bit of water. I wonder how much wool they've made me. I'll tell you what I'm keen to do though. I want to go check this, um, see who my neighbours are. Maybe in a bit. Let's get these animals sorted out first. Um, what to do? Okay, so the sheep need some more hay and the horses need hay and straw so I think for starters I need to swap this bucket over for the bale spike oh yeah a couple of other things that happened whilst I was off actually just before I left I got this cultivator second hand one that's been refurbed so she's an oldie <laughs> you can tell by the springs on it so, hey, as long as it does a job I'm leaving it out here, I've moved the plough out as well, uh, and I did pick myself up a bale spike as well. So, there's the pallet fork there. So we'll just drop this bucket inside and um, pick up the bale spike. And I'll pop the loading wagon on while I'm at it, because that's where the straw's at. Loading our bale spike. I was using just the, the pallet fork, but I figured I should probably get a bale spike just to, you know, do it right. Okay, we are all plugged in. you can tell I'm trying to avoid having to buy one of those um, bale shredder but I'll probably end up getting one anyway. Uh, 
Alright, we'll back this in here and unload some straw. There we go. Oh, that's all it took. <laughs> okay. In that case, we'll just uh, go put it back. That's kind of almost pointless. There we go. Alright, now we'll duck out here and grab some hay for the sheep. Might even just leave it there for them. Maybe they'll take the whole bale. Doubt it though, it's pretty big. Oh, okay. They took the whole bale. Oh, that's plenty of food for them now. Oh, okay, yes, you have been busy. We might do a trip to the, uh, the shop and sell off that wool, I reckon. We're gonna have to do that soon. I'm gonna run a room. Oh, well, I guess I'll swap the pallet, uh, the bale spike for the pallet fork. And a trailer. Don't know how many pallets I'll fit on here. Maybe half a dozen if we stack them. There we go. Trailer's on. Just lift it up. It'd be great to have a second tractor. Probably overkill though. How many are there? Two, four, so there's six across the front, another two full ones at the back. Put this trailer down. Disconnect and now we can load it. Okay, yeah, so that took me a little longer than it should have, but it's done. Um, the money came through, f as you may have noticed, the money came through from the bales, a few grand for that. So, that's good. A little bit trickling in here. Let's connect this up. And I'll run it up and see what I get for it. Oh, I might want it strap those ones on. I don't want them falling off, that's for sure. After all the effort I went to to put them on, that wouldn't be fun. Okay, let's raise that up and get out of here. Alright, sell point for bales. I'm guessing is going to be here, but that's just a guess. Let's unstrap. Oops, already done that one. Oh, come on. Oh, money, look at that. Nine grand. Thank you. Happy with that. Yeah, rather than run back and jump into my next chores. I'm just going to do a bit of a drive-by down here. I'm intrigued to know... I'm intrigued to know what... 
has been built. Jeez, that's a nice shed. Of course they had to buy the block right near me. I'm in a huge area. Uh, okay, so they got money. That's for sure. Doesn't look like anyone's around. Shed looks empty. And a cow pasture. Really? Okay. Same watering system as as me. Yeah, radio. Okay, so cow pasture. You gonna do cows? Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, so sheep are sorted. I'll take the horses for a walk. Oh, I got an email. Hi, Fennec. I'm very keen on the 48. I'd like to see it resto modded. By that I mean I want to have the cab to be stock, but I'm looking for a low profile wheels. A tray and a blown motor. I'm assuming he means supercharged, not blown up. If you can do all that, I'll pay 35 grand or 40 delivered. Yeah, fair enough, he's only in Utah. Probably get a backload anyway. What do you say, do we have a deal? Thanks, the collector. Alright, let's write him one back. I, yeah, 40 grand delivered, that sounds alright. I'll make money on the, the backload anyway. Um, Alright, let's type him up an email. Get a collector. That sounds great. I can definitely provide what you're looking for. Consider it a deal. If you can transfer 20% up front, I'll get cracking on your truck. I'll deliver it for sure. You don't need to give me much of an excuse to get out on the road. I'll send through progress photos soon. Cheers, Fennec. Sweet. We got a deal. You got a home. I've got to get to work. Well, let's... um. Let's get and ride these horses first. We'll get the important stuff out of the way. I also have to cultivate and I would like to sow the field with canola. So I said let's get the jobs out of the way we need to do, then we'll worry about the truck. Mate of mine's got a, a mechanic shop, so he's happy for me to do the engine build there and I think I'll just do the bodywork and whatnot here. Should be, shouldn't be too hard, we might. Once the engine's in, I'd say we'll pull the truck into the shed. Might pull the Kenworth out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take the tether and the wing rower out, and we'll put the truck down in the corner. That sounds like a plan. Anyway, let's get horse riding. I think it's the last horse to have out to be ridden today. Let's head on down this way. These horses are actually ready for sale. We've had them for a while now. What's that? I can hear a truck. Ooh, someone's driving down here. I wonder if it, that's the new neighbour. Yeah, we might step the pace up a bit and go have a look. Hey, be cool, be cool, be cool. G'day, I'm Fennec. Uh, hi, I'm Georgia. So you've claimed a block in no man's land, hey? Yes, but I won't be living here. I'll just be taking breaks here from time to time. What's with the dairy farm then? They're a fair bit of hard yakka. I assume you'll be getting some cattle. A hard yakka? Is that some breed of cow? Uh, yeah, I plan on getting cows. I already have a horse nearby. I'd love to keep her here, though. But I don't know when that'll happen, as I'm not here permanently. I was looking online to see if there was someone that could tend to the animals, but haven't found anyone suitable yet. Plus, the gatekeeper seems very picky with who he'll let into the property. Yes, I've struggled with the gatekeeper, too. I had a guy come in to pick up some straw bales recently, and getting him cleared was almost like going through the Spanish Inquisition. Why don't I look after your animals? The horse can live in my stable, there's plenty of room there. I'm actually planning on training more in the future anyway, or adjusting them either way. Look, I can tend to the cows, however you'd probably need to purchase some more equipment. Really? You'd be happy to do that? 
I'd pay you, of course. Yeah, sure. Tell you what, let's go with, uh, I don't know, 500 bucks a day to tend to your cows. Um, of course, your horse can live in my stables for nothing, that's fine. Um, as long as I can have the cow manure and slurry for free. Sure. Actually, $500 is way below market rate and money really is no object for me. I'll give you a grand per day and by all means you can have the manure and slurry. Whatever that is. Do you think you could use this field for the benefit of the cows? Yeah, for sure. I tell you what, let's expand it. I'll make it a bit bigger and grow a lush grass field on there. That'll be good for the cows for some silage or something like that. Great. As far as equipment goes, I'll line it up with the store. You tell them what you need for my farm. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. My farm. Why's that? It's not strange considering where we are. It's been a childhood dream of mine to have a horse and some cows. I just can't believe it's actually happening. So glad I can be part of it. That's awesome. Anyway, I really have to go. You don't get uber successful resting on your laurels. Like I said, I'll sort out the store, you order whatever what is needed. Expect about ten cows and I'll have my horse dropped off in the next few days. I'm very grateful to you, Fennec. Hey, no problem. What are neighbours for? Okay, I'll see you next time I'm in the county. Oh, and here's my number in case you need to contact me. Great. I'll put it in my phone and I'll send you a text so you've got my number. Look forward to seeing you soon. It's nice to have someone to talk to. No problems, Fennec. Talk soon. See ya. There you go, Vagabond. Go have a roam around. I'll just top this water up. Yeah, it didn't need much. Well, I think it's horse sale time. That's interesting. She was kind of cute. Um, radio. So ten cows and another horse in here. The horse won't be an issue. Cows I'm going to have to learn about pretty quick. Um, and I would like to sell those horses if I know this is all coming. I actually kind of wouldn't mind getting another tractor. Oh, this is not going to be fun, carting horses up to the sale point in this. They're not going to like it very much. I'll we'll see how we go. Might look at tractors while I'm up there. Okay. Well, that kind of is going to increase my workload. Give me something else to do, though, I suppose. I need to get this crop done today. Plenty of time left in the day. Alright. This ought to be interesting. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get a horse in there. I'll give it a try. Otherwise I'll just pay the 300 bucks ahead and someone can come pick them up for me. Alright, we do have a horse in here. Alright, off we go. I'll catch her after I've sold all three of them. Vagabond looks pretty sad that he's leaving. That's alright, he'll be going to a, a good home. At least he's not going to the glue factory. Okay, last of the horses sold. I am cashed up. I am getting rid of that trailer. That is so annoying. Good that didn't cost me anything. Oh, actually, yes, while I'm here, I might just fill up. That would be a good idea. Awful. Alright, I wonder if they'll give me anything for this trailer. Disconnect you for the last time, not that I kind of connected or disconnected you often at all. Okay, what's their black book say? 500 bucks. I'll take it. Oh, jeez, they've already taken it. 
Hmm. Now, cows. I'm going to be looking after these cows. I have to be having to mow a lot more. Need grass for the horses, grass for the sheep, grass for the cows, grass to make silage. I need to mow lots of grass. I've got her land I can use for that now too. I'll have to think about it today. I've got to go get the crop ready anyway, so I'll think about it while I do that. I'll go pop this refurbed cultivator on. I've been thinking about it too. I don't think I want my, my own horses. I think I'm just going to have other people adjust their horses with me. I'll take a daily fee. I probably won't make as much money as if I'd you know, trained them myself, but still make some money. At least I don't have to worry about vet bills and everything else that goes along with keeping animals. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Right, it's cultivating time. Lower this cultivator down. And away we go. How's she doing? It's doing well. And it's going to run at good speed. That's awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Almost done, a couple of rows to go. And it will be finished cultivating. And I need to plant. So we get this one done in one pass. Should be fine. I still can't decide whether I should do a money crop or whether I should plant oat. Keep up a good pace with this too. Let's jump cut to the end where I'm just about done. few rows to go and we'll be done with the seeding and fertilising for the whole proper vote. This cedar really does not put much of a strain on the tractor. Grass is my next focus. As well as getting that truck built. Get a bit of money out of that. I'm starting to think there might be a could be a winter a winter thing. Rebuilding trucks and whatever, you know. And it's a bit more quieter in the field. I can um, yeah, work on trucks and do some restoration, make a bit of money. Trucks, cars, whatever. Whatever I've got interest for. Time to go. Last one. like I missed someone I was cultivating. Oh well. Not to worry. Alright. Let's disconnect it. 
Back it up. Uh, which side's the... I can't remember. Which side the towing point's on. I think it's on the left, I think. I'll know in a minute. Bar in. There we go. Alright, I'll head back to the shed, clean this off and put it away. Uh, I don't know if he's noticed, well actually it happened before I even sold the horses. I got 7 grand through, which was 20% of the 35 grand. Obviously he's treating the transport cost separately. So, I'm going to go to my mate's workshop and rebuild this engine and then we'll drop it back in. supercharged V8 that we can go drop back in the 48 Chev truck. Big effort. Well, I'm glad he was there to help complete rebuild. Already dropped it back in. Let's see if she starts. Ah, first time. Love it. Do the lights work. Yeah, nice. Well, I'm going to get this in the shed then. That's better. It's always easier working when there's light. I'm going to roll my sleeves up and get cracking on this bodywork, and uh, you'll get to see what it looks like in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Catch you soon.